Whether you run your Big Blue every day or are just about to fire it up for the first time, here are a few things to check before turning the machine on. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully. Never use an engine-driven welder inside a home or garage, even if doors and windows are open. There are three items to check prior to turning your machine on. You should check your fuel level, oil level, and coolant level. Before checking these items, we want to ensure the engine is cold and sitting on a level surface. The pre-start procedure for checking your fuel is to add fresh diesel fuel to the machine daily. When filling the machine, it is important to leave the filler neck of the tank empty to allow room for the expansion of the fuel. Now that we have properly filled the fuel tank of the machine, we can now check the oil condition and level. The oil dipstick is located inside the access door located on the right side of the machine. Pull the latch and release the safety to allow the door to fully open. Once you have access to the inside of the machine, you will see a yellow cap with a pull ring on it. This is the oil level dipstick. Simply pull this out, wipe it clean, then reinsert into the engine and pull it back out to see your oil level. If the oil level is low, refer to the engine maintenance label for further instructions. If the oil level is full, no action is needed. The final pre-start check is to check our coolant level. To check the coolant level, you will want to look in the coolant overflow tank. This is located under the small access door on top of the machine towards the rear. Once the coolant overflow tank is visible, you will want the coolant level to sit at the bottom of the neck pipe. This is the ideal coolant level. Now having completed these three pre-start checks, we can now start our machine. For air pack miles only, an additional pre-start check is required. On the bottom right side of the machine, you will find an oil level gauge for the air compressor. Check this with the unit off and on a level surface. Now that we have completed our pre-start checks, we are ready to start our machine.